Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back. This is going to be my reaction for Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood episode 39. This episode is called Daydream. Last episode, we found ourselves in the city of Baskul, which was where Scar was supposed to be hiding out. And he was, and two of Gimli's goons actually ended up finding him due to them actually being chimeras and I, I'm guessing they could sniff him out or something, I don't know, but they definitely found him, right? Uh, and they actually had an advantage over him until the Elric brothers shows up and acts as, you know, that they are enemies, right? And, you know, they, they are to them, but they have to act that they don't know them, right? Since they transform. Um, but... Yeah, in the end there, uh, Scar actually managed to escape and capture Winry. So yeah, that's kind of where we are. And it's kind of Kimberly's fault for letting her tag along. Of course, they did let her go close to him, right? Which was a dumb idea in the first place. But yeah, well, she ended up captured and that is where we are. So guys, without further ado, let's go. Here we go, guys. Episode 39. So Scar ended up capturing Winry. Even though we saw he was like trying to escape, right? Tell me something, Kimberly. Do you remember when we first met? It seems we've changed places. You shouldn't be so confident. <laughs> let's go, let's see them fight. Kimberly, damn you! Tell me why. Why is Winry here? We finally got Scar cornered, and now he's taking her hostage because of you! Uh, that what like they are kind of the fault for that also right step, step this now crimson alchemist can't you see winry's up there with him i won't let you attack why can't you just stay huh is this an act it seems super like an act because i also noticed his arm is bandaged why would they do that if he escaped Not himself, so right? Is fallen. No, wait. Like, he wouldn't have had time for that. Fall back! A snowstorm! Hurry! Ha! I think this is an act, for sure. It that seems so weird the way he also, like, What's Stop this right now! Every bit as angry as I sounded back there. I feel so worthless. Having to put on this stupid charade. Yeah, yeah, I freaking knew it. Why? It was too obvious, Why actually. Did you kill my mother and father. There's nothing I can say that won't sound like an excuse, and nothing can change the fact that I am responsible for their deaths. I killed them. Young girl, you have every right to pass judgment on me. But, I mean, yeah, there, there it is, there it is, there's the bandage, right? It, it just seems so weird. We'll die if we don't bandage it. Winry? Quiet, Ed. I think, I think this is what my parents would have wanted. <laughs> Mom and Dad saved his life before, after all. There has to be a reason for that. Does that mean you're forgiving me? Oh, don't get me wrong. I don't forgive your wanton murdering. Well said. Winry. It's all right. I won't cry. Didn't I promise that the next time I cried, they would be tears of joy? I, I think there's quite a, quite far to that, Winry, so you need to hold those tears back for a long time. Listen, Scar, no matter what Winry says, I still want to beat you bloody and drag you down to the Rockbell family grave to pay your respects. Should we contact headquarters, sir? Yes. Major Miles, wasn't it? Can I ask you something? What? So I'm guessing this better came up with a plan, Earlier, right? You said I was one of your people. That's right. I'm part Ishvalan on my grandfather's side. I wish we didn't have to meet like this, red-eyed brother of mine. How can you bring yourself to be part of the Amestrian military? 
My objective is to work from the inside to change how the people of this country view the people of Ishval. I don't think that greater task will be easy to accomplish. Of course, your task is not Who easy either. How long it will take. But still, my mixed blood gives me a slight advantage at least. I'm an Ishvalan pebble tossed into the ocean of the Amestrian military. Maybe in time, the ripples I create will become great waves. And do you want to know what the most ironic part about it is? It was an Amestrian who set me on this path in the first place. Hmm. Look at me. I am a festering wound of hatred born of the Great Ishvalan War. I am thankful that there is someone like you out there. Major. Copy. Major Miles here. We captured Scar. We're holding him in Area D. Inform Kimley. So what... They, they must have planned this after this, right? Because... Between us, I cannot let you go. You must accept judgment. Hold on! Who's there? Me! Dr. Marco! Please don't take Scar as your prisoner. We need him. That is true. That is very true. This doesn't look good. The weather's changing. Clouds are moving fast. Storm's on its way. Hurry, then. Deciphering notes, huh? Yes! It's groundbreaking research that tries to fuse a mystery in alchemy and Shingy's alchemy. But all of the important parts are unreadable, written in ancient Ishvalan. And only Scar, Scar is the can only do that. One who can make sense of it. Don't you see? Hmm. So you're the alchemy girl, huh? I have orders to bring you back to the fort. Me? But what do they want with me? Don't worry, you'll receive a warm welcome, I'm sure. Well, yeah, she don't need to worry, right? Scar needs to be kept free. And it would be just as bad if they found out that Dr. Marco was here as well. All right. I think it might be best if we took you back to Fort Briggs to hide you from senior military staff. Hmm. Hold on. What are you saying? You mean we're bringing that monster with us? We need to decipher those... How are you going to get past Kimberly? Like... There's not a damn thing I want that guy's help with. Just hand him over to Kimberly. The transmutation circle. The one this country was formed to make. I heard all about it from General Armstrong. We know something's about to happen that yeah. will affect all of America. They, they, they need to come up with something. They need to have a need to know what the answer to that plan, right? That's more important than anything else. I heard they're using the Rockbell girl as a hostage against you. If we act now, we can disgrace Kimberly and find some place to hide her where they can't touch her. Like the sound of that. Using Scar, okay, yeah, of course it makes sense. Up, Scar. Because it will if look, you know, work with us, real. I'll postpone your judgment day. Well, it doesn't look like you're going to give me any other choice. Yes, I'll help you decode the notes. I have your word on that. You do, I swear on my Ishval in blood. You can trust me, my red-eyed brother. We have a deal then. My okay, so that is how it is. You'll have to wait so now we actually sure want Scar to escape. Fine. Right, I almost forgot about these two freaks of nature. Dispose of them. Yes, sir. Hold on a second. Wait! You don't have to kill them! I see no reason to let them live. Kill them. No! A life is a life! What better reason do you need than that? <laughs> Showing us mercy, how adorable. You're, You're just, just a sentimental fool. We didn't ask for your help, did we? Do you want to live or not? What future can we have? If you're gonna kill us, do it! I don't understand. Don't you have families? Loved ones? Sure we do. But as soon as we got these bodies, they were all told that we were dead. And to them, we are. Don't you want to see hmm. them again? Even if we did, how could we go back to them like this? <sighs> so you don't want to get your original bodies back then? You're content the way you are now, is that it? No, how could we be? Of course we want our true bodies back! <laughs> There's your answer! I don't want to hear a bunch of Maybe actually the, nonsense! Yeah, Alchemist can help Why them also. live and learn whether there's a chance of getting your bodies back? 
How could you possibly know what we're going through? Wow. What chance do we have a wow, guys. You at least have a buddy. Well, I'm going back. Well, I actually thought they knew, No but... matter how long it takes, Apparently I'm not. not giving up. Major. What is it? It's not good. A snowstorm. We can't complete a snowbound march with this equipment. We have no chance of reaching the fort. So... This is a mining town, isn't it? They need it? to hide out, right? Why don't we just go into the underground tunnels? Huh? Well, what's wrong? I mean, this is a pretty large mine, right? So surely there's a tunnel that can take us beyond the mountains? Uh, uh, I think... That's it! Yogi, yogi. <laughs> hey, give me some credit. This I, is what I, I guess, did for a living. I guess that will work well. That's right. The tunnels come out past the mountains. Right. If they're still intact, of Once course. Once you run into Brig soldiers, just hand them this. I've explained our arrangements, so you shouldn't have any trouble with them. Thank you. But there's still the matter of the young Miss Rockbell. She can accompany us to the fort, of course. But when word gets out that she's missing, won't the Elric brothers be the first people they suspect? We can handle ourselves. Which is why they will yeah, use scars. Brag, but I've got a pretty smooth tongue, you know. No, this is Kimberly we're dealing with. He's very skeptical. He's automatically going to be suspicious of whatever you tell him. That is true. Um, I hate to be the one to suggest this, but uh. Oh, it was actually Winry's plan. Kimberly would do if I was suddenly taken hostage mm -hmm. by the scar. Old metal alchemist. You want him to kidnap you? Hold on, Winry. You're saying it, it's the only way, actually, go? right? It will work. Right. Scar runs away, carrying me. Then Ed, you and the others try desperately to stop him, or at least that's what you pretend to do. You understand? You can't do that. You're crazy. Well, I don't have a choice, do I? I'm a hostage either way, so I might as well get to like, choose my captain. Yeah, exactly. I was about to say like th this will and work right. really no well, actually, if Scar doesn't. Do don't any you get bad it? It's stuff, time right? for you two to learn you don't have to do everything alone. <laughs> I can see Kimberly's forces now. <laughs> Damn it! Scar, if you do anything to hurt her, I'll I won't harm the girl. I keep my promises. I yeah, I th I think Scar has like after meeting um Please, yeah, after meeting too. this group of people right i think no, i think something us. changed for him maybe so i understand if you want to keep us tied up kimberly shows, shows no mercy to troops, troops who fail to accomplish their missions one way or the other we're dead besides we don't want to give up either <laughs> you realize if you do anything to obstruct us the whole country could be destroyed Including your families and everyone you care about. Uh, wait, hold on! Just what are you saying? Mm, I, I don't, don't know. understand. The Central Forces weren't told about any of this. Please, we need to know more. What's going on? So most of the troops are just blind to what is actually happening, right? You're sure about this? Yeah, I'm sure everyone will feel a whole lot better if we're tied up. All right, Scar. Give us a good performance. I know what I'm doing, and you will keep your oath. Your solemn word is a truish volum. I think I think this will put Scar on the Excuse right me, path, your hopefully. Ears. Your earrings are made out of metal. If you don't take them out, you'll get frostbite. Oh. Ed. Hmm? You hang on to these for me. I'll see you back at the fort. Here we go. We finally got Scar cornered, and now he's taking her hostage because of you! But they kind of have to stay indoors right now, right? <laughs> I'm worried about what's happened to Zampano and Gerso. There are two possibilities. Either Scar did the men or they're out there in the snow. The storm will have Scar trapped too. We know he has to be somewhere in this town, sir. Since we're stuck here, we might as well start planning our next search. We got lucky. The storm really saved our hides. 
Please let them reach the fort safe. Hiding, you know, all signs Excuse of them, me, right? Major. Even like footsteps Briggs is and stuff. On the line for you. Yes, Miles here. What'd you say? Oh, did he get news about the people that arrived from that uh, Central? You're actually the daughter of the doctors, Rockville? Yes, did you know my parents, Dr. Marco? Of course I did. There isn't a single doctor who worked in Ishval that didn't know your parents' names. They did their duty without any regard to themselves. I don't forgive your wanton murdering! This is something you must abide. How can I forgive the military for all that they've done? I said nothing about forgiveness. There is no forgiveness for wanton murder. Any good man must always condemn it. But still, I hard, watch me. This is gonna this is gonna you change Scar. The chain of hatred once and for all. Yeah, uh, this is definitely gonna hatred change him. And fear are allowed to prevail. The world will be swallowed by them. But if ultimate understanding can be reached, we may still have a chance to be saved from ourselves. That is my motivation. That's why I study alchemy. Yep, this is it, all right. Okay, what is this place? The mine staff room. We need something from here. Now let's see. Ah, here it is. See? A detailed map of the tunnels. Okay, that That's is complicated. That will work. I can't tell what's what. We go through here, here, and here, and we're out. Impressive. You sure know how to read a map. <laughs> no, it's nothing. <laughs> Don't make it go to make his head. Make it over to the other side of the mountain a lot quicker than we had first thought. Uh, excuse me, Dr. Marco. Are there any hints in those research notes you have about how we might try getting our original forms back? At the moment, I can't say. It's a possibility, but this is a form of alchemy I know nothing about. I'm sure you'll find a way, Doc. Uh, I can't wait to see my family again. <laughs> Are you really that eager to get back to the old ball and chain? Mm -hmm. I'm sure you miss your daughter, but I doubt you miss your wife. What about you? You were such a lousy drunk, your own son couldn't stand to be around you for more than five minutes. And you really think you'll be able to face him now? Wow. You have to bring that up? <laughs> Are you all right, May? What's wrong? It's just... My entire clan is waiting for me back in my country, but I don't think I can return to them. The Philosopher's Stone is made from sacrifices. Yeah, yeah. like, no gaining immortality is not possible, so right? Awful. If His Imperial Highness found out how to make one, he wouldn't hesitate a moment to do it. Like, he, he just wants more power, right? Any number of our people. But we need it. What am I supposed to do now? It's possible these notes contain what you're looking for. A humane secret to immortality. Maybe, Let's if you can mix the alchemy, maybe, right? But... Say. Right. What do you mean the fort is no longer safe? I mean that General Armstrong's been summoned back to the Central Command Center. Troops sent from Central Ooh. have begun invading Briggs in force. There's no doubt they're acting on the Crimson Elf's yeah, yeah, so, orders. Yeah, yeah, so they will just, they will just the take over Briggs now and right make whatever the happens they need to happen there, right? This is bad. Without General Armstrong there... A commander handpicked by Bradley will be posted in her place. Exactly. What do we do about Winry? Hiding her and the others will be difficult. If they're not careful, they're bound to fall into the enemy's clutches. We have to find some way to warn them. There's no way we can catch up to them in a storm this bad. So we sit here and do nothing? I'll go tell them. Have to. Don't go underestimating the storm out there, kid. You'll freeze to death before you come anywhere close to reaching them. There is a way. Listen. Send someone who doesn't have a body. That storm won't freeze me to death. <laughs> like you. I guess it could work. This is worse than I thought. Let's see. The marker. The marker. There! I can't see anything at all! Okay, that is a weird time to see your portal. It's like telling him, like, come get me.
What's going on? I guess a body just can't hold up with someone else's soul being shoved inside of it. A body? A body that shouldn't have a soul in it? It's being rejected? Does this mean my body is pulling on my soul? So... So he needs to hurry. Snap I, out of like, it. If, if, if he's starting to, like... If at some point it will happen that he will just, like, cease to I exist, to right? Hurry. Because if, if it, his soul is rejected for the armor, then he then he will die, right? Edward Elric. And also, there's von Hohenheim. Izumi Curtis. She's a possibility. That leaves one more. What is he? Is that the... Um, hmm, interesting. We're gonna talk about that. There we have it, guys. Episode 39, and we have to talk about this right now. I mean, Father is sitting there mentioning people that he would put on his transmutation circle, right? So we had Edward, Alphonse, a Sumiter teacher, right? And Hohenheim, and then he said he needed one more. And I am kind of seeing a pattern right now. Uh, we know at least three of these people have seen the portal of truth, right? So I'm guessing Hohenheim, of course I don't know, but I'm guessing he has seen a portal as well because he's just so damn mysterious, right? And we know that he split his body in twos at some point, right? So there's the evil father and himself, right? Um, so yeah, I, this is of course a guess, right? But I mean, it looks very much like it, right? Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure father is looking for people that have seen the portal of truth, right? Am I onto something? Anyway, that is pretty cool. Uh, we're getting closer to an answer, but I still feel there's like a little bit to go yet, right? So, but we're definitely getting there. And if we can get Scar to translate, the, uh, his brother's work maybe we will actually also be able to fight this guy right or maybe even like cure Edward and Alphonse uh, in the process if we can actually use like the Shinji's alka history right anyway enough about that uh, we see the whole um, like what happened before Scar actually took Winry hostage right um, and I thought like, oh my god, in the beginning, right, for last episode, that th that was so dumb to send Winry close to him. But apparently this was all Winry's plan and it makes sense because this is the only way they can get her out of there so the Elwick brothers are not like under a thumb anymore, right? They don't have anything on them anymore, right? They can do as they please, so they're kind of not like handcuffed anymore which is perfect right so this is the only way they can do it what else also happened is that apparently olivier is not in control of bricks anymore uh, the central forces moved in and they simply took over right and apparently as miles said uh, olivia has been summoned to the capital so they are simply just removing her from an area that they need to you know make finish up the portal right so uh, not the portal sorry the, the the big transmutation circle that they are making right now right um so yeah like i mean they i don't know what will happen but i mean that is very smart of fewer bradley to remove her from power up there because i i really feel feel she had a good grasp of things she's a good person right and she's definitely there to help edward and alphonse in some way and we already know she reached out to mustang to kind of form like like an alliance right since mustang already had that old guy that the, the guy that dressed up as a girl or a lady right uh, they they, they kind of like have two armies unless Olivia is losing her army right now because 
uh, they took over Briggs, right? But I, I'm guessing we will see what, what is going to happen there. Um, and yeah, then finally this Yuki guy, right? He, he comes into play and he actually uh, knows about these mining towns, right? So he can actually lead them out of there without them getting discovered. And they will also get out of there uh, avoiding the snowstorm, right? Um, finally, I think we should also just mention here that something is happening to elephants right now, right? I think what we heard about earlier in the episodes that his that this putting a soul into something else is not a good thing, right? It's not supposed to be in a suit of armor, right? So it looks like it's kind of starting to reject him or like as Alphonse put it, like, was that my body reaching out for my soul, right? Um, so I, I, I think uh, we, we need to hurry because else Alphonse will probably end up dying here because now like it looked like stuff was going to happen to him right uh his eyes vanished and stuff like that right so we will see what happens there but definitely definitely very interesting anyway guys thank you for listening to me thank you for following as always i would appreciate a like see you next time peace